And I love this tip. This is probably my favorite tip because it's made such a huge difference in my life personally. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Ash Fab and this is Fab on a Dime. And today I'm gonna be sharing three tips to help keep you motivated to stick to your budget. The biggest problem I think we all face when it comes to our finances is sticking to our budget. Writing out a budget is tricky enough as it is, but when it comes to following through throughout the entire month, it's a lot trickier than it seems. There are so many reasons for this, so if you're a type of person that struggles with this, just know that you are not alone by any stretch of the imagination. I can't tell you how many times my budget went right out the window and I completely gave it up but I have found several ways to make it easier. So stick with me and I'll go through some easy motivation tips to help you with your budget. If you think saving money should be your thing, why don't you consider scrolling down a little bit, hitting that like and subscribe button. I share all kinds of budgeting and money saving content on this channel and having your support would mean so much to me. If you do decide to subscribe, go ahead and leave a comment, let me know so that I can personally thank you. Okay, staying motivated, I'm gonna break it down into three tips. So stick with me throughout this whole video because every single one of these tips is really important. Number one, be loud and proud about your budget. So there's a stigma around uh, talking about our personal finances. We're not supposed to tell people when we're struggling or when we're in massive debt, but I think it's really important to just open up that conversation, let people around you know that you're being more financially responsible. The reason for this is it will lessen the peer pressure around you to spend more money. If your friends are in the habit of going out to expensive places, uh, hopefully they'll be more understanding and more accommodating of your budget. You can suggest staying in, having a potluck, doing some more inexpensive things, and they should hopefully be okay with that. The more you talk about your spending goals, the more likely you are to achieve those goals. You can be held accountable this way, whereas if you decide to keep it to yourself and not tell anyone your goals or your journey at all, then you only have yourself to let down and yourself to celebrate with. It's always better letting your close friends in on your progress, or I mean, you could be like me and just share your whole financial journey with the entire internet. Whatever works for you, but I think you just shouldn't be ashamed of being more financially responsible. This is one thing I do love about my generation. Millennials are far more likely to talk about their finances, uh, share salaries, talk about their struggles. Um, I like opening up that conversation and putting the focus on growing and building. And it's so much easier with support, isn't it? Number two is to make sure that your goals are reasonable. And I love this tip. This is probably my favorite tip because it's made such a huge difference in my life personally. I used to get really excited about a financial goal at the beginning of the month and I would set a really, really high bar for myself. I would take uh, a certain category such as eating out and I would say, okay, I'm not gonna eat out at all this month. I'm gonna be really good. I'm gonna cook every single meal in my home. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give myself like $30 for the whole month to eat at restaurants. And what happens is you can't predict your whole month. I mean, that's a ridiculous number to give yourself for an entire month. What if you get sick? What if takeout is inevitable? What if you just get a really bad craving for pad thai? That's the reality. And so when you do end up going over budget, which you inevitably will, because your goals are way too strict, you tend to get frustrated when you go over that budget and you throw everything out the window, you give up and you say, oh, well, I'll just try again next month when that's the last thing you should be doing. That's the last thing that your budget needs. So my big tip is just always be reasonable with your goals. It's better to go way under budget and put that extra money into savings because when you set these types of goals and you actually meet them, you feel so good about yourself. You have this huge sense of accomplishment and that sense of accomplishment will lead you to meet better and better goals. I always encourage baby steps because this is a long process and I know that can get annoying when you're looking for fast results. So if it is fast results that you're after right now, if you need that little boost of motivation, I do have a video for that. Check out these three things you can do right now. No patience required for immediate results if you're looking for that sort of thing. And my third tip is remember your why. Whatever it is that got you started on your financial journey, write it down. Maybe you have a very specific goal that has a number attached to it. Um, I know for most people like myself, they just want a sense of freedom. They want a sense of financial peace where they're not having to constantly stress about 
bills or just money in general. Maybe you're trying to set up your children for success and you wanna show them what it's like to be responsible with their money in the future. So when you've come up with a reason for why you're on this path, you have to keep that reason at the forefront of your mind. I like the idea of writing it down physically, putting it around your home so that you can constantly see it, keep it in your phone, whatever it takes to keep that very present in your mind at all times. The more you're reminded of your why, the more you're going to stick to the plan you set for yourself, stick to your budget and meet your goals. There is really no better way to motivate yourself. I guarantee if you take these three tips and you implement them into your everyday life, it will make a huge difference for you. I know it has made such a difference in my life as well. I love sharing my journey as a frugal diva on a budget. So if you'd like to come along on that journey with me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video if it was helpful to you. I hope to see you in the next video. I have quite a few of them if you'd like to check them out and enjoy. So thank you so much for watching.